Hi guys, Mark here from Sea World Earth, and today we're talking camera bags, uh, backpacks, front packs, shoulder bags, uh, and expedition bags. These are just some of the bags that I've got, um, and one of them is potentially the best bag. In fact, it is the best bag that I've ever owned. Um, now, before we start, I just want to say that uh, none of the manufacturers or that I'm going to show now have asked me to say anything. Um, these are all bags that I owned, I bought, um, and I just wanted to show you what it is I use when I head out into the jungle. Okay, without further ado, first one. This one, not so much for the jungle. This is the uh, Retrospective 7 from a company called uh, Think Tank. You obviously know about them. Uh, but this is a, a fantastic bag that I use uh, if I'm doing street photography, heading out, or if I'm just you know, light load where I can carry everything out with the family uh, on a Sunday out or whatever, uh, just to take family snaps. Um, nice cool little bag. It's a great actually a, a very good bag actually for weddings if you're going to be doing wedding photography um, And why is that because you know what it's like when you try and open up a bag uh, And all you need to you open it and because everything's got velcro on it you get ah. Well, obviously you don't want that to happen in the middle of a wedding and they've got this pretty um, Awesome little system here. It's called the noise or the sound silencer. Okay, and all it is is just flaps normally you would have your Velcro like that so that you can open and close and keep everything secure but when you open it not good so they have this sound silencer where things just fold down on each other like that it just means that the bag then is more or the the, the top of the bag is more of a flap as opposed to um, a secure compartment uh, but if you've got it hanging off it hanging off your shoulder or your neck uh, and you're walking around a wedding, it's not really going to come open. Uh, but beautiful bag, very, very nice. Um, lots of little story area in it uh, if you want to keep filters, batteries, etc., etc. Nice little carrying handle too. Uh, but yeah, something I use not as often as I'd like to, but it's there and I love it. What else we got? Something funky now. This is uh, a small day pack that I used. It's from a company called Paxis. Uh, P-A-X-I-S. This is the uh, Twin Lakes version. Um, it's only a very small capacity bag, probably about 15 litres internal capacity on the main compartment. Uh, and when I say main compartment, it's because the absolute selling point on this particular bag is this. Let's say that you're walking along, okay, you've got the bag on your back, okay, but you need something that you've packed away uh, and you need it immediately. Um, very simply, all you do is you pull out this handle here, that swings out a pod, which then comes around in front of the wearer. How awesome is that? And then in, in that, you have, you have all of the bits and pieces that you may need to hand, uh, like a lens, a cloth, a cleaning rag, whatever, uh, filters, okay? Uh, and then when that's done and dusted, you just zip it back up, push it back round, and when you're wearing it, you give it a good old shove and it just clicks back into place. So fantastic little bag. Um, it's got some nice little uh, straps on it. It's got a nice padded uh, back area there with raised padded areas. So you don't get that big soggy back if you're going to be walking through the jungles all day long. Uh, you've just got four points of contact, a very nice dense uh, foam there, which make it very comfortable. You've got padded uh, shoulder, shoulder pads there. Um, and all in all, very nice little cummer band there with your pinch clip. If you want to wear that, no worries. Uh, and then obviously you have all of your regular um, straps and load bearing options just to tighten it all up and get it exactly how you want it. So perfect. A little day back. Okay, now some of you, when you see me walking through the jungle, you'll also see me walking with something strapped across my front. I like to have something like this. This is a little low pro uh, bag. What is it? The it should be on there. Well, can't find the model, model number, but it's awesome. Um, but it, yeah, it's very comfortable. It sits there like this, especially over night time if I'm out doing, if I'm out doing a, a macro shoot or whatever, um, I'll just have, a, as opposed to putting it on my belly, I'll put it on my back. <laughs> I'll put it on my back. Oh, where are we? Like that, yep. Have a strap around the front, and then that way if I do need something, 
I can just flick it off, get what I need, put it back, and off we go again. So I normally carry like spare batteries, a lens, um, and you know, that's pretty much it. Something for wiping the sweat off, because I know I get a bit sweaty sometimes. But yeah, cool beans. Um, I'm just zipping through these because I want to get to the main one in a minute. Um, and then, yeah, a bit more of a specialty bag. Again, uh, because I do a lot of river walking, I've got something like this. This is, this is just a generic Japanese uh, wet, wet backpack, basically made by a company called Zat24. Never heard of them, um, but it's cheaper, cheap as chips, probably about 30 bucks. Um, no airs and graces. All it is basically is a big old wet compartment like a, a wet bag that you normally have if you go onto a boat on a boat trip that just rolls over a couple of times like so creates a seal and then it just closes with that velcro there okay which is pretty cool a couple of d-rings just for hanging gear off like i said no frills there is a, a, a carrying handle there i've got a little carabiner on it uh, but the uh, shoulder straps again a little bit of padding no comfort um, what I generally do to give it form uh, is if, if I'm carrying something in there is I'll put, I've got a, um, a Tupperware box that I'll put in just to give it that square form and then I'll put whatever I need into there. If I need multiple items and I'll, I'll use multiple uh, O-ring sealed uh, Tupperware boxes just to give it a bit more protection, a bit more uh, waterproofness. Um, if I am out on a heavy duty uh, river trek Obviously, uh, if you do go base over apex when you're wearing something like this, there's not a lot of padding to protect what's inside. So obviously you need to, um, need to take precautions uh, with when you are packing your gear to make sure that it is a bit padded uh, if you're going to be using this sucker. Right, now that brings me on to the meat and veg of this show. Some of you may or may not have uh, kept up with the time when I went to Iriamote last year. Uh, now on that trip I had a backpack, I'm not going to mention the uh, brand because I, I don't think it's fair to do so. Um, but when I was um, probably about halfway through, on that trip I was shooting photos and video. Uh, and halfway through that trip, uh, the you know what happens with zips sometimes when they open up on themselves? So you, you close it and then the, what, the, the area of zipper that's supposed to be closed because you've zipped it closed comes open and it goes all the way to the zipper that happened about halfway through uh, the trip so each day after that i couldn't take i could no longer take my photo and video gear i had to choose which one i wanted to i needed to take with me now seeing as i was photographing for a sponsor um, and trying to make videos of that photo of those photographic uh, endeavors as well i ended up having to use a gopro because I obviously needed the photos, um, which was just an absolute pain in the butt. So my Sony A7S II uh, had to stay packed up in its, in its cases uh, for the best part of a week in one of the most beautiful areas of Okinawa, which is a pain in the butt. So when I came back from that trip, I said, enough's enough, I'm gonna buy a bag and it's gonna be a doozy. And ladies and gents, let me introduce you to that doozy. Here it is. This is the Low Pro, was it BP, oh sorry, the Low Pro Pro Tracker BP 550 AW2. And she, it, whatever you want to call it, is a beast. <laughs> Look at this monster. I've had this probably about six months now. I love it to pieces. Uh, fantastic. And what I want to quickly go do is just run through some of the features of it, um, just to show you and convey to you why it is that I absolutely love it. Now, it is expensive. It's not a cheap bag. This one at the moment at b and I think is $399.95, so $400. Um, but you get what you pay for. And really, this is just an absolute stunning bag. When, when you look at the, um, the jobs that I need to do for a sponsor, then that in and of itself is a reason enough to, make, to, 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 to buy something like this. Okay, so without further ado, let's look at some of the um, features. The first thing that this thing screams at you is build quality, and it is. The, the, the foam, the density of the foam is just, it just feels so good. Um, they've got this beautiful, what they call the active uh, zone 
uh, for your padding on your back. It's got um, raised areas, low areas. So again, areas or channels where uh, air can flow to keep your back cool. Try not to sweat too much and then passing all that sweat into that, into that pad. It's always horrible to put on a, a wet, soggy backpack uh, onto a back once you've had a break. Um, so that padding then is continued down through these nicely contoured shoulder pads and into the um, beautifully padded um, cummer band uh, that, you can <coughs> that you can use to offset the weight onto your hips. Okay, there are nine um, points where you can regulate your, the, the fitting of the bag to your body. Obviously you have the cummer band at the front, you've got your, your strap at the front, so you join these two pinch clips together. Okay, you have then the straps that you can tighten that up at the front. Then at the sides here, you have on each side, you have a, um, a strap that you can use to offset the load or to, to regulate the, the load carry there. From there on your shoulder straps, you have your traditional shoulder straps that you would then pull just to tighten up your shoulder straps. On top, or on top of each shoulder, you then have a further load carrying strap here so you can then yank that, pull that really tight just to get the load to come up a little bit more onto your shoulders. And then finally you have your chest closing clip that goes across your chest just so that you can uh, regulate how, and that's the elasticated. So if you do like it tight, you've got that give for when you're breathing, which is cool. Um, onto the sides, let's have a look at this. Uh, so if you want to carry a um, tripod, here you go, you have these, this area here, okay, uh, this is for your tripod, and what you'll notice on the sides here, or on, this, on these flaps here, is you've got this textured, almost non-slip kind of surface, so once your tripod's sitting in there, it will sit nice and snug, these ones will cinch up nice and tightly, okay, and your tripod sits nicely in this uh, side pouch here. You have another li little utility um, pouch area here. If you don't want to put a tripod here, you can put something else there. Uh, because you do also have here a um, tripod pouch that comes out if you want. Ooh. If you want to put a tripod here and just strap it up through the back, the, the center of the back of the um, of the pack there. Okay. And then just tuck back up in there and close. So swinging around to the uh, other side, um, okay, we've got this other little uh, pouch area here. Okay, you've got a, another strap that uh, you can use to cinch things closed. You have another, um, just a utility pouch on the side. But what's also nice about this pouch is, that you, or with this pack, sorry, is that you can also place a two liter water bag into this pouch here. The, the uh, straw then comes up through to this side here, and you can pull that out, stow it, so that when you're on a <coughs> when you're on a walk, um, if distance uh, and or if speed is the essence, then you can drink on the go, uh, and you're all good. Um, again, a fantastic bag. When you're using this for a um, when you're using it for an expedition, one of the things that um, is always a bit cumbersome is you know how do I grab it? How do I pass it to someone? Uh, and the guys, the clever guys at Low Pro, they've thought about all of that because look at this. Okay, first off we have here a carrying handle, regular carrying handle at the top, but also if you want to grab it, if it's on a, a carousel for example uh, in an airport, okay, you've got carrying handles here, you've got a carrying handle here, so you can, or grab handle, sorry, um, but also on the, on the bottom of the bag, okay, if we tip it up that way, there you can see We've also got another couple of handles, one there and one there. Okay, so you've got one, two, three, four, five points of grab, which is awesome on your cummer band as well. You have another little pouch here, just if you want to keep something while you're walking, it's right down by your waist, something that you use all the time. Cool, cool. Now here's a neat little trick. You've got the, the top cover on the top of the uh, backpack here, and just by undoing these two little pinch clips here, Let's spin it around. Okay, we've got another couple of pinch clips just uh, here. So one on this side. Down there. There you go. One there and one on this side. 
it comes off. Et voilà. Just get rid of the pack a minute. So there you go, it comes off and we're left with this little bag here. Now, what we have inside, we have another little strap that we can then whoop, connect to this bag. One, two, and what do we have? We have a nice little over the shoulder array that you can then use for street photography out with family, something that you can quickly dip into if you need to take a shot on the go. How awesome is that? You've also got this little bag that's on top of the bag at the moment. This can be attached and detached very simply by using or by unclipping ooh, the utility strap that connects it to the top of the bag. And let's just go ahead and do that. There we go. So that comes out. Now this little pouch here, this can fit either inside or outside the, uh, the pouch, however you want to have it, uh, inside or outside the bag, sorry. Uh, and it uses, again, the proprietary low pro quick fit or fast uh, clips. All that does is that goes through that little loop there, hooks on it onto itself, hooks onto itself like so, and then you just pull it tight. There you go, all good. Okay, um, so this can either fit inside or on top. Now, if it's inside, that's fantastic because this bag then becomes the perfect size for um, carry-on luggage, okay? So with that top bag inside, okay, this now can normally be carried into the cabin with you uh, when you go on your flights, All right? Um, just to round out the... Just to round out the other feature here, as normal with most uh, camera backpacks, you have your wet bag that is stowed in the base here. And this will only fit, oh, excuse me. This will only fit if you have the bag or the backpack in this configuration. If you've got the backpack, if you've got that little pad on top, or the little box or the little uh, extra pack, sorry, on top, it's not gonna fit. So uh, if it's like this without any bag on top, then that uh, rain jacket will fit perfectly. And just another uh, environmental protection uh, for the bag. All right, so let's get into it. Top of the bag again, we've got loads of um, uh, loops for you to connect any gear uh, if you want to. Same thing on the front here, you've got loads of loops. Okay, and these all fit, uh, these all work also with the other low pro bags so you can fit other low pro components to the front side top uh, of this pack. Uh, very, very awesome. Okay, on top of the bag, okay, if you want to undo it, you have these uh, two, again, heavy duty um, zippers and you can actually, they interlock there, they've got somewhere where you can actually put a, a lock if you want to put a padlock on it, okay, but very heavy duty. Okay, let's have a look and see what it looks like inside. And it opens, et voila. Okay, on the inside you can see here, you've actually got one, two, three main compartments with uh, clear uh, front um, windows. Uh, and I use those for, let's get rid of that. I use those for just yeah, keeping bits and pieces in there, um, camera cleaning stuff, a, a little spirit level, um, sensor cleaning wipes, a couple of cables, markers, anything that you need. Um, just tools as well, little screwdriver, uh, bits and pieces. And you, and you do have a couple of little um, areas here, a couple of small um, pouches right here just for memory cards, etc. etc. Now, inside the main, main compartment area, Okay, you have lots of ways that you can obviously, oh, half the jungle, <laughs> got, um, however you want to have it packed. They have um, areas, little pouches like this that all come with it. Um, I don't use half of the dividers because I, I don't like to put, you, you can actually put um, dividers down and have other dividers on top, which means then you've just got to like 
open up another flap in order to access something else. I try and pack my stuff so that everything is to hand. Um, I might use this pouch here, whether for a, a, yeah, um, a microphone, depends how, how, what I'm going out for, uh, but also batteries. Uh, this area here is good for if I'm using a flash battery or something for my um, for my main photography with a client. Uh, so yeah, but beautiful. It's, it's however you want to have it um, set up. And I believe this will fit a camera with about a 400 millimeter uh, lens on it. So you got your camera body there, nice big 400 millimeter there, and uh, yeah, pretty much everything. I you know if I'm going out to shoot photo and video. If uh, with enough planning, careful planning, you can actually have exactly the gear that you need in order to shoot both photo and video uh, just by using this one pack. Um, I haven't really needed to use a front pack with this, um, but I've got some more gear on the way, more about that later. Um, and so I might have to end up uh, front packing with this one as well. Um, but that's the problem. You get a bag as big as this and you end up filling it up uh, turning yourself into a, a mule, a, 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 you know, a, a pack mule, uh, and then there's still gear that you need to take as well. So you end up taking even more gear. Um, but that's by the by. I think the internal capacity here is about 40 litres, which is awesome. I love it. Um, and apart from all of that, I've, I'm sure I've got plenty more adventures to come along with this with this baby. And I absolutely, up until this point, absolutely love it. Also. Um, you have this little compartment in the front here. You have a, a, vel uh, uh, a magnetic um, closure and you can actually get a 15 inch um, laptop in this compartment in the front if you so need to. Okay. And if, if like me, you're somebody that likes to have uh, nice tidy straps all over the place, what you'll notice is that you've got this uh, little elastic option here on your straps you just put your strap through there like so and then it just gives you a, a way to be able to um, have everything nice and neat so that you don't you're not walking around the jungle looking like a looking like a Christmas tree with everything hanging off you okay and then you just pull that through and you're good to go nice and neat so that ladies and gentlemen is the low pro ProTracker BP550 AW2 and it is probably the best camera backpack that I've ever owned. Um, I can't see anything eclipsing this for quite some time but you never know someone may come along uh, and make something that absolutely knocks our socks off but uh, until now I love this one but uh, anyway that's me for today I'm gonna love you and leave you if you haven't subscribed already please do so, hit the little notifications bell down the bottom and you'll be updated as and when there's new contact, uh, no, new, hit the little no notifications bell, um, hit the little notifications bell and you'll be updated as and when new content is available from yours truly. But until that time comes, I'm going to go and look for something wild to do. So come back soon and I will see you when I see you. <laughs>